Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Megan McCauley. I'm here with my student JJ Ponton to video a voice lesson. Hi, JJ. Hi. All right. JJ is a tenor. We're just going to start with some warm ups. So you don't need to look at your stand. Just relax. Take some deep breaths. Use the mirror over here. Nice full length mirror. Oh, stretch your posture out nice and broad and tall. Let's make sure that you got everything lined up nicely. <sighs> Feeling any stress or tension this week? How's it been? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad? Okay. Good. All right. We'll start with some breathing for you. How's that? Take some nice deep breaths for me. Let's see what's going on there. Okay. Now, can you take a nice low deep breath for singing? Good. So remember that when you breathe for singing, I'm going to come on the upside of you here, that you take, take your first breath and let this expand for me. Okay, nice and tall and heroic. Uh-huh, there we go. And then when you exhale, only let this go in. Now take a new breath for me. There it is. It's a little harder to see through your nice big sweatshirt. There it is. It should be nice and easy and free. It shouldn't feel forced or anything, but this should feel nice and open here, like that. And this is nice and flat. This space right here needs to open up too, right here in the back. It should open this way, expanding this way, and it should expand this way if you can. So you can kind of roll the pelvis forward. There you go. So you have kind of a big heroic pose there for me. Uh-huh, now you have to keep that up. That's the hard part, to use those muscles that we don't use very often. Take this breath, and out. There you go. Okay, and now let's do a breath in and go out on. Okay, good. I want you to, can you see yourself? So you're kind of watching me and kind of watching you. When you do it, when I did it, it only moved here, right? See if when you do it, you can make it do the same thing. I'll do it with you. Ready? In. That was better. You still see there's a little movement yeah. from your shoulders. So that tells me that, uh-huh, there's a little bit of neck oh, tension hanging on. As usual. Uh-huh, as usual. Yeah. And just a little bit of a lack of expansion, too, at the top. So that your shoulders have room to, they, they're having room to shake. Ah, oh, okay, good. Nice heroic pose. Nice, deep, relaxing breath. Good. Watch there in the mirror. Engage from right down there. That was much better that time. Good. I'm going to give you a little resistance this time. Take a deep breath. Go. That was even better. Did you feel that? Just that little bit of engagement. Now, let's see if you can make, create your own resistance. Don't use your hands to do it. Just use your muscles to give yourself your own resistance. Because you have to learn how to do this on your own, right? Here you go. There you go. So it just takes a little energy and resistance down there. All right. Now let's do... Hmm. Good. All right. Try to use all of the breaths so that you don't have anything left at the end. Good. Very good. One more. Good. Now we're going to add another syllable to that. So it's going to be. Good. It is. One more time.
Good. Can you keep it relaxed right here? Watch yourself in the mirror and make sure that you're not locking onto the syllables with your jaw. There you go. Make sure you're not locking onto those syllables. I'm seeing right? Just keep that jaw out of the picture. And do it all from right here. Try one more time. Take a deep breath. Good. All right. Now, the whole exercise is that we do that fast in a pattern, and then we go in and out on, on longer Fs. So I'm going to do the whole pattern for you, and we'll see if we can do it. Ready? Then you can do that. I'll do it with you a couple times. Nice, tall, heroic posture. Keep it relaxed. You should feel energy coming up from your legs and from your lower back and from your lower abdomen below the belt, right? Energy comes from there, all right? Deep breath. <clears throat> we'll go in cycles. Let's try to do three cycles. So if you mess up the first cycle, no big deal. We'll catch you on the second cycle, okay? Ready? Deep breath. cycle to four. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Right? You want to try one more time? Yeah. So we'll do three patterns of four each and then a long F at the end. Okay? Ready? Relax. Deep breath. got your jaw going too so just get that jaw out of the picture you don't need your jaw for you just need your lips you don't need your jaw okay mm -hmm. ready deep breath Close. Stop. Okay. How do your abs feel? Engaged. Very good. A little sore, maybe. A little unexercised. So that's a good exercise for you to do in the week. Okay. Now you've got your breath engaged. Throughout the whole lesson, you want to engage it that way. So in between songs, if you feel like it's unengaged, just do a couple, a couple pants like that, and it will get re-engaged. Okay? All right. Let's warm up a little. Yay. <laughs> okay. Let's start with just some nice, relaxed humming. Everything needs to be really relaxed. Keep your jaw and your neck especially relaxed. Those are your target areas. Okay? Just hum and open to O with the bottom, please. Good. For our purposes, and the microphone, we, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how good the microphone is. Good. Big round O. Okay, that's A. There's your O. Now think O on all the hums. Now we're going to go up. 
Change to awe at the bottom, please. Good. Think awe on all your hums. to take time, you always rush into things, take your time to stop and focus. What are we trying to accomplish with this one, this exercise? What are the goals? Uh, engaging here mm -hmm. uh, and connecting to each one. That's right. Good. And vowels. vowels. Those three things. Good. Mm -hmm. So especially the engagement on the staccato at the top mm -hmm. and, and keeping the vowels lined up. So Z. And what sound do we put between the E and the A vowel to da? There, a good Y. Mm -hmm. Z, E, E, Ya, A, A. And that all comes from here like jumping jelly beans. Z, A, A, A. Good. Do you like the darker A vowel or would you like to try a brighter one? Uh, probably brighter one. Yeah. Okay. Z, A, A, A. Okay, good. I almost think we might need the AW at the very top. And then you could modif you're modifying the vowel at the top just a little bit so that it's Z. You come down to the bright okay. one because you need the bright one at the bottom for the ring. Mm -hmm. But you need the slightly covered one at the top or else it's going to spread. Okay? Gotcha. Z -o -o -o. Very good. Now, how do you control coming down? Breath. Uh huh. And how do we control our breath? Mm hmm. And did we do it that time? No. It's, and what happens when you don't do it is that it slows down and it gets real mechanical, mm -hmm. right? So if it's slowing down, how? Do, what is the opposite of slowing down? Speeding up. So you're going to speed up your breath to speed up the energy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but if you really trust, you're not trusting it. That's all. You're just not trusting it. So, Z, I'm totally not warmed up. Z, if I speed my breath up on purpose, I feel like I'm hitting the gas right there. You have to trust that it's all going to come out right. It may not. You may crack. But if you crack, I can fix cracking better than I can fix, oh, I'm stuck. Like, I can do more with a rolling car than I can with a parked one, right? Yeah. So keep the car rolling for me. Z yeah, see, it didn't even crack. Z okay, good. You didn't get a good enough breath there. Your little collapse in the front. Uh-huh. Okay. Z That's not a good breath either. Uh-huh. You rush in it. Because you didn't even inhale. You just went Z. You just attacked that thing. You don't have to attack, it's gentle. It's all gentle. 
Space is not. Okay. I need more space in the back. Do you don't feel like you have to open your mouth more? Just open the inside more. Like someone's opening an umbrella inside your mouth. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Did you like that better? Trust my darker or going towards O. Try it first because that's, I, you know, for a lot of tenors that I've worked with, that's what works for them. Not, we'll try another vowel. And that's, you know, if it cracks and blows up in our faces, then I say, all right, let's try E. I don't care. Whatever vowel works for you, but try that one first. Okay. That's usually one of the key my head. Do this key, please. There we go. That was better. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's exactly what happened. Good. Uh huh. I still feel like you're singing it about mezzo forte, and we're up in your register where you need to be giving me more energy. Giving me forte. Let's try here first. <coughs> to migrate to what? If you get lazy with ah, what vowel does it become? Uh, uh huh. So you have to watch out for that and watch for your phrasing. Okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
nice, though. I, I mean, very nice. You know we go through these quickly, and if they're not no perfect, it's not a big deal. Your phrasing was very nice, and most of the time your vowel was great. Your vowel was great through the top part, which is usually the tricky, tricky spot. I would like to go back so I can watch you better on that one, you know, and make more piano mistakes so that I'm watching you instead of watching my fingers. Um, so, and then we'll back up into the spot where you had a little more trouble, right? Um, so let's start at the top of the second page, right where you were, and just do that through the end and we'll work through that because the, I thought the first page was great and we don't need to go back to it, okay? Acknowledge the tension and release it. Okay, and then let's start back at the. Uh -huh. Okay, did I see what's happening? Uh huh. It's and your your head's not lined up and your jaw's jutting forward, so that's part of what it is too. I'm watching you in profile and seeing that a little bit better. So it's a balance. <laughs> That's yep. That was right. Move on to 
is there a Borgen height? I just want to check and make sure that the video camera is still working since the screen went to sleep. It is. Okay. Now I feel silly. There we go. <laughs> okay. And as we know, Wolf and me and my piano skills don't get along. But you're very good at continuing to go even if I don't. Even if I don't continue to go. <laughs> all right. And page turns and all of those things. None of those go together very well. <coughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> Between the two of us, we will make Wolf come out of his grave and kill us. Okay. Sounds lovely. All right. Do you remember what the song is about? Looks like apparently it's been a while since I actually looked at your studied. translation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, there are a lot of cognates. So, do you, what does las o welt o las mich sein mean? Do you think? Uh, tipping that in the world again is a translation I did. <laughs> yeah, that's the words yeah. underneath that's the English. You know what? That's the translation I did, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Most translation right. that they gave you. Loss, it let a world, oh let me be. Okay. okay. So this is um, someone who is tired of life and wants to be left alone. Like me? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is you always go for these nice little <laughs> sad songs. Uh, it's so pretty, it's not my fault. Slow sad ballads are JJ's lot in life. Okay. So, um, this is someone who's tired of life and is, is ready to just be a hermit, basically, and retreat from the world, okay? And you can hear that in the music. Mm -hmm. And you always are very good at singing musically, regardless of whether or not you actually understand your text, but it's important for you to understand your text as well. It is indeed. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's give this a shot.
all right, good, good, good. So you have a lot of wonderful things going on with this piece. Um, German is pretty good, actually. You've retained quite a bit of that. Um, <coughs> um, movement and musicality are very good. I want to go back um, and just work through it and stop and start this That's time. Right. Okay. Uh, the fact that you kept going <laughs> is also commendable. Uh, good. Let's just stop and start and see what happens here. Okay. Because it is a diphthong, right? It's a lie in a lie. You're going a little bit towards an uh sound to get to the e. Okay. You're not totally going a lie in a house, thankfully, right? <laughs> We're not there. We're a little more advanced than that. Um, but make sure you keep a nice pure ah uh, vowel. And that should feel like a stretch. A line of, right? You're emphasizing that word. That word is alone. You're emphasizing that you want to be alone. Okay? That's an important word and phrase. And you can tell musically that's an important word and phrase. Mm -hmm. This is what makes Wolf so brilliant, is that he also makes an important word actually in the text, an important word in the musical phrase. We like him. <coughs> Let's start at Lost D's hands, please. Lost Can you give me a better la lost these hands? A better breath? That you're a little off the breath there. Lost Because you're going to do it again at the end, and you don't want to do it, give it away. Don't give the ending away. Okay? Uh, same place, last D's hands, please. <laughs> Good, good, good. Okay, so, <coughs> this 
this, the key to Wolf is the ending syllables, those ending consonants, okay? So in that middle section there, was ich traure, weiß ich nicht, es ist unbekanntes weh. Okay, do you see there in the, uh, you have to look in the piano part a lot of times to get your dynamic markings, mm -hmm. okay? Um, because Wolf was a pianist, you can tell by the way he writes. Um, and so he would put a lot of the dynamic markings in the piano and not give them to the vocalist. So you have um, there, there's a growing crescendo. Each phrase is still there. Was ich trau, weiß ich nicht. Es ist unbekanntes Wehe. And then what do you have? Yeah. Oh, After a yeah. forte. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of a subito piano almost mm -hmm. there on Immertar. All right. So, and then what happens? Immertar durch Tränen It gets even softer. And then he has absolutely no dynamic marking changes after that. So you have to keep that whole last phrase small. And I want you to hold on to Licht, the exact number of rhythmic right syllables, mm -hmm. and then close the CH and the T separately. Ich der Sonne liebes Licht. Think of the K and the T separately. And it, the beauty of the German language is that it will sustain the tone in the audience's mind by sustaining those consonants just a little longer than you're used to. We're used to, as singers, consonants aren't important, or they're important for intelligibility, but not for musicality. Mm -hmm. Hold on to those consonants just a little longer and make them part of the musical phrase, because you're talking about light there, and the light kind of is dwindling. So, and holding on to it, right? Mm -hmm. Little finesse. Uh huh. Okay, good. Let's start at Vasistrava. I'll give you the, the pine beats. 